Hey there, you're watching Amitha Verma. With July 4th right around the corner, I wanted to share some really beautiful and fun ways you can bring the festivities to your own home. I'm out here on my patio and I am going to be working with this really beautiful French Antique Bistro table that I found and making it more cozy and bringing that celebratory feeling into this space. I'm gonna show you how to bring some of that French country charm from the indoors out and including a DIY project that your kids can jump into also. But first, let's head back inside so we can get the things we need to put out here. Come on in. So here you can see some of the fun and beautiful things I am gonna take out to my table to create that July 4th festive feeling. But before we get to all of these beautiful things and how to use them and where to put them, we're gonna start with a table runner and that's gonna be our DIY project. So I've got my two little helpers here and they are gonna help us create a July 4th inspired table runner. We are going to paint stars on top of this in a very freeform manner to bring in a little bit of the blue to create a really fun and festive table runner that we can use for this event and others down the road. So I really actually couldn't find a star stencil. So instead we found these little cute cutouts that you can hang from different places throughout your home. So we're gonna use this as our stencil and we've got a couple of different sizes and we are just going to draw very lightly with pencil the different locations that we're gonna want stars throughout our table runner. And then we'll use that outline to know where to paint. So now while the boys are working on that, I'm gonna start pulling some things that I can use to create that really beautiful, inviting country feeling on my table outdoors. So one of the biggest things I look for whenever I'm working on a table is some kind of a centerpiece idea. And this time I'm gonna try working with a breadboard and load it up with cheeses and breads and fruits and vegetables to create a really open experience. Other things I like to look for are vases, including things I might already have in my home as a decor piece. This is a piece that I can easily pull outdoors. And then just a little canisters just like this. I tend to look for pieces that are in the cream color or the white color because they're so easy to work with. This is just a little creamer pitcher and it will look great with a couple of flowers. And then of course, chicken wire. What else says relaxing in country like chicken wire? Another great filler item that you can look for is some type of a greenery or a plant. You can see these cute little plants that I pulled right out of one of my bookshelves. And then this really pretty golden colored wheat that I used in my Thanksgiving decor that I pulled out because it looks so beautiful with all the colors that I'm working with. And last but not least, I like to look for smaller containers such as this to layer on top of my table and my breadboards. This is probably one of the biggest tips I can share when you're working on creating a really beautiful table is to create layer upon layer to really make it interesting and textural and beautiful. So to bring in some of the red, to make it more festive, I'm gonna add in a couple of bunches of flowers. I've got these gorgeous red tulips right here. And then I have a great big bunch of red carnations that I'm gonna mix in with the tulips and the white hydrangeas. I used to really despise this flower because it reminded me of the times in, they called it junior high school back then, in middle school, when you would get them for your, your little crush. I think they were a dollar a carnation and you'd get them on Valentine's Day and I never got a single one. <laughs> So now I buy them in truckloads for myself. So the first thing we're gonna do is just start trimming them down to fit into our container and you can just cut them as tall as you want them. And for me, that's just a little bit of trial and error as I figure it out. I'd like to remove some of the leaves from the bottom so it doesn't get too full in my container. Or you can just do two carnations if you like that and alternate the height a little bit. Now that we're done with the flowers, I'm going to start building out this breadboard so it becomes a beautiful centerpiece and a great serving station. So here are a couple of tricks that I do. I place a little bit of decor on the board to anchor where I'm gonna lay things out and then layer with bowls so I have a smaller area to work with. So I'm gonna start adding in some breads and cheeses and fruits into this bowl. 
Now we're ready to start taking all of these great things outdoors. The paint only takes 20 minutes to dry, so we're ready to move our runner outside. And these things are also ready as well, so we're ready to start moving all of the table pieces together. The next thing I'm gonna do is grab my centerpiece, and a great tip for you is to start in the middle and then build out the left and the right side. It's much easier than starting at the end and trying to figure out what to do next. And there you have it. You can see how easily and quickly we were able to put this beautiful July 4th table together. Now, don't be overwhelmed. I think this table runner project took my boys about 10 to 15 minutes and they're already on the hunt for their next thing to do. Now, my family and I are ready to celebrate July 4th and have lots of fun outdoors this year. I'd love to see if you try this project with your kids. If you do, be sure to leave us a comment and then send us pictures of your table. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And when you're done, hit the subscribe button so you can receive more great home design projects and tips. Then when you're done, head over to my blog where you'll find loads of great design ideas and projects that you can jump into. Till the next time we meet, keep making your home amazing with your design gifts. I did that one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, did, I did it too late. Right? Why did you say oops? Get the wrong side. Oh. Oh my goodness. Rohan, leave it. Leave it. Well, it's gonna be covered by the board anyway. If we can, we can fix it afterwards. But sometimes when you don't like the way it is and you keep on working it, it gets worse. What do you guys say? Worser and worser and worser. And then, some red carnations as well. They're actually a great table decorating flower. Devin, how would an evil cat laugh? Meow. Meow? That's not how he would laugh. He'd, yeah, be, like, meow, meow, meow. he'd be like, meow. <laughs>